living in the center of God's will for your life goes beyond just making um, declarations and saying words of of um, the words of affirmations they call it like all those quotes and sayings and all it goes so far beyond that it goes far beyond um, desires saying oh I want to live for God it goes beyond saying uh, I live in the center of God's will for my life. It goes so much beyond that. It's our obedience to God that determines everything. Actually, it's just our obedience and God's mercies. Because there are going to be times where doing that thing, like being in the center of God's will for you, is going to be difficult. It's, there are going to be times when it will not make sense. There are going to be times where it will seem like you are being foolish. It is going, there are going to be times when it's going to be difficult, like waiting or the, the process, like the suffering, the persecutions. It, there are times it's going to be difficult. There are even the, um, instructions God will give you, you know, that will seem almost impossible for you to do it but God requires of us that we go ahead and do it anyways no matter how we feel no matter how we think we feel he expects us to still go ahead with that and you know <clears throat> as humans there are times that we make mistakes we might make mistake and we would say oh maybe you know God gave you an instruction to do something but maybe out of fear or one thing or the other, or just plain foolishness or laziness, you didn't carry out that instruction, you didn't obey him. Um, sometimes you might be tempted to say, oh, I'm always disobeying God, I'm always not doing that thing that he wants me to do. Let me just run away. Like, let me just run away. But the truth is that. God doesn't want us to run away. He wants us to run to Him and not away from Him. And uh, yes, you make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. We are all we are all work in progress. The Bible says that His mercies are new every morning. Do you understand? So He is ever ready to accept us, no matter how 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 much we have messed up. He's always ready to accept us into his phone but another thing you should take note of is that we shouldn't take his message for granted the bible also says that should we continue to sin that grace might, might abound god forbid that's what paul said and that's just the truth the fact that god is merciful that no matter how much we mess up he's always ready to take us back into his phone he's always ready for us to take off where we left things off that doesn't mean that you should just keep messing up. You should just keep living in disobedience. You should just keep living in sin. Or, yes, yeah, sometimes it's hard. It can be hard sometimes because the flesh will definitely fight you. But you should not keep falling into the trap of the enemy saying, Oh, I will do it now. God will forgive me. I will ask God for mercy and it's merciful. He will, he will forgive me. Take it. No, we shouldn't do that. We should never take his mercies for granted. Yes, he loves us so much. Yes, he came and he died for us. Yes, he's our advocate, always pleading our case in the courts of heaven. But that doesn't mean that we should take his mercies for granted. So even as we're struggling, like as our flesh is trying to fight us from doing that with the spirit wants, we should learn to depend on the Holy Spirit. We should lean on Him. You know, we should cry out to Him, ask Him for help, and, and He will definitely help us. He's our ever-present help. He He's here to guide us into all truth, you know, because we don't know anything. We don't even know. I won't say we don't know everything. We don't know anything about life. Life is so much more deeper than what we think we know. So, he's here to guide us into all truths. He's here to be our help. He's here to teach us. So, that's why he's here. 
to help us live that life that is pleasing to the Father. And I would like to encourage us not to just limit the Holy Spirit to speaking in tongues or or um or goosebumps or chants and all of that. But but we should involve him in every facet of our life. 